Hello, everyone. We are the PM Boys. Today, we're joined by Mohammed, Zach, Gabriel, myself, Guy, and the project we are creating, we named Pegasus Apartments. So starting off with the project overview, we're primarily focusing on the UCF area. Um, UCF has over 70,000 students and currently has a housing issue. The demand is extremely high for these uh, housing complexes because the amount of students in this area, it's about a 10 mile radius of campus. So there's um, high demand within this 10 mile radius. So the PM boards were hired to create an affordable dorm style housing complex near campus to accommodate these students that need this housing. So our project priority, um, we are highly constrained on time. The fall semester starts in the beginning of August. So we're trying to get um, this built before then in order to move all these students and before the fall semester starts. Um, performance is enhanced during this project. Uh, it's enhanced in order to create the least amount of errors um, during the building process in order for this project to go smoothly with um, time and cost. Um, cost is acceptable because we're trying to do a low budget um, affordable dorm style housing complex in order for this complex to be affordable for those students and um, to have high demand for our housing complex. The success criteria we try are trying to follow is um, passing all safety exceptions before and during our building process. Um, hopefully all the supplies that are being shipped to us are not damaged when they arrive to the site. And um, after the building process, we hope all inspections pass and Hopefully this project will be completed on time in order for these students to move in. So moving on to the WBS, um, WBS is a work breakdown structure and it's a snapshot that quickly identifies the summary of the task and all the work tasks that we are doing for this project. Um, this allows us to understand the cost of the project and the time it's going to take um, in order to do these tasks. Uh, the top five summary tasks are legal framework before the project, um, pre-construction, trying to get everything in order, um, construction during the building process, moving on all the furniture and doing the utilities within the building, and then post-construction um, with inspections. So now I'm gonna pass it on to Mohammed to speak about the network diagram. So this is the network diagram, which shows summary, um, which shows the summary task in red, the legal framework, pre-construction, construction and furniture and utilities. But the task in yellow show the work tasks that are on the critical path. These are the tasks that will take the longest and the ones in gray are the tasks that have more slack or um, flow times. As you can see within the diagram, it shows you the start time. For example, the file for land permit, it starts at October 1st, 2021, ends on October 14th, 2021, and the duration is 14 day. And this is identified throughout the entire entirety of its project and all the tasks. And this is also continuously up, updating. So as the project continues, and if there's any edits, this will also will be um, updated. Now we have the project schedule. This is a more zoomed out view showing the overall project status. As you can see, it shows each summary task as in legal framework pre-construction. And under those tasks are the work tasks, again, set in consecutive order. And you can see that it starts at October, 2021, just a month, simple month. And it goes all the way to June. Since time is a priority, this is gonna end beginning of the summer, allowing our investors to have time to market and have students move in, which is at their discretion. We can also view the critical path very quickly and see which tasks are currently on it. As you can see, they are blacked out and barred diagonally. Now I'm gonna pass it on to Gabe to speak about the project resource chart. Thank you. So the project resource chart shows the utilization of resources over a period of time. Also the chart allows for a project manager to plan out the resources, such as labor required and assign a standard rate to the resources. And so how it relates to our project, you can see that construction workers are spread out from late December to mid-March, as well as mid-April to the beginning of June. And then you can also see how construction workers will also be working hand in hand with plumbers, electrician, and summit workers. And then the next slide, we have our resource estimate chart. 
and this helps us identify the cost of each work package. And we made the chart with six columns. First column being the ID number, second column being the work package, the third column being the human resources needed and the quantity, fourth column being the labor's, la labor resource costs associated with the human resource, fifth being non-labor resources, which uh, in this project will be mostly raw materials, and the last column being the cost associated with this resource. And next, Zach will talk about the project budget. Thank you, Gabe. We displayed our project budget in a uh, Gantt chart. This, chant is, this chart is made to show future costs of the project and entails how much these costs will, how much and when these costs will occur. Once completed, we find our budget to be around $700,000. This is important because now we can seek investors and workers for the project. We also can monitor our costs to make sure we stay efficient. While time is our constraint, it's still beneficial to be conscious of your costs. Moving on to creative content. For creative content, we developed a responsibility risk matrix. It's a visualization tool that organizes stakeholders by impact and interest. This helps to clarify who needs to be communicated with uh, and how frequently. For example, the uh, stakeholders you can see in the top right in the red, they have high impact and high interest. So they will need to be communicated with often while someone like contractors who's in the middle is uh, medium on impact and medium in interest. So they don't have to be as communicated with as much. And we believe that this project will be successful without exceeding the planned costs. The PM boys hope to be working with you in the future. Thank you for your time.